was a dancer. Uh, he was in, crowned the cha-cha champion of Hong Kong, the Crown Colonies cha-cha champion in 1959. I personally feel like a lot of, when you see him on screen, a lot of that grace that he has in his movement is born really out of his dance training. I'm John Boogs um, from Miami. The style of dance I do is popping. Uh, it's a dance that was created actually out here on the West Coast in the early 70s. Now. <laughs> right, I'm doing the Asian thing. Yeah. Um, my name is now. I've only been popping for four years, but I've been doing martial arts since I was five and Bruce Lee was a big inspiration for me. I saw Enter the Dragon and wanted to take martial art classes. So I've been doing it for 20 years, been studying the arts. And what I'm doing now is incorporating my dance into the arts. So it's like a like a martial arts popping fusion. And it's working out pretty well because of the fact that martial arts and dance have so much linkage together. And it's all because of, you know, being free and expressing yourself and the way you express yourself is through how you feel. Went in to see if we could find some books on dance in his personal library and we did. And uh, we were just sort of flipping through it. He underlined in this book found a really great quote in here that we were just all talking about. Definitely. It says, in art, all knowledge must ultimately become intuitive. So that's something you can apply to dance, you can apply it to all forms of art, Definitely. martial art, and everything. everything. Like, Bruce has influenced all of us a lot as far as just, you know, his philosophies and the way he thinks and, and the way he approaches art. But you can tell through his movement that he was very technically sound. Like, like you could tell, like, he knew his forms and he, and, he, and he knew all the foundation of what he was doing but he added like a lot of his own personal swag and his own personal self-expression on the style that's what made him unique people are teaching technique and not always teaching self-expression on top of the technique and bruce always was big on being yourself expressing yourself mm -hmm. Uh, making sure you express yourself truthfully because that's the hardest thing to do. You can have all this technique, but sometimes when you go out there to do your thing and dance, you, you think about what's going on around you or who's watching you or who's looking at you and you, you don't truly like let go. November 27th, as we know, is my dad's birthday, birthday. in 2011. He will be 71. 71. John's done an event before uh, down in Miami that uh, benefited yeah. the Bruce Lee Foundation. Yeah. And uh, this time we're going bigger and better and we're doing it on his birthday and it's going to be in Miami. Miami's one of the only places you can go swimming in November. <laughs> yes. You can go to Miami and still go to the beach in November. So, <laughs> that's another um, reason to come. <laughs>